In this video, we will explain the process to ensure classes are expired properly and that they are archived when no longer active or no longer needed to be synced by SDS. School Data Sync, also known as SDS, synchronizes user and class data to Azure Active Directory. For each of these classes synced, SDS will create an Office 365 group and a class team. These classes are intended to have a limited lifetime, often being a semester or a school year. This process starts when you provide an expiration date for your SDS sync profile. This will give the global admin the time to complete this process in a way that is invisible to the end users of the classes that are to be cleaned up. The expiration date was set when you created each sync profile. On this date, the profile will automatically become expired and stop syncing. The classes will continue to exist and will still have the latest enrollment of users up to the date that the profile expired. You can update the expiration date to have this happen sooner or later if needed by navigating to the profile and selecting Edit. When the profile is expired, you have the option to unlock the profile or to start a new term. Unlocking the profile allows you to continue syncing and set up a new expiration date. Starting a new term will discard all cached data in the profiles so you can start to sync your new semester or school year data. To begin the cleanup and archival of classes, select People on the left navigation pane. Next, select Memberships. When the membership page loads, you will see options for group report and group cleanup. Let's begin with the group report. This option will bring up a flyout pane that allows you to generate the group report by selecting Generate New Report. It is important to note that the flyout pane will not refresh automatically and you will need to close this pane and select Group Report again to see the current report generation status. You'll know your file is ready when it shows up and you have the most recent date under Latest Report. This report will contain all data of your classes, even if they were not created by SDS. Click on the Download icon to save the file to an accessible location and ensure the file name remains as sectionusage.csv. Next, open the sectionusage.csv report you just saved. You will know which classes are created by SDS as they will have the sys ID on column B. You can also use column Q to see which date these classes were created. You may need to remove the classes which should remain untouched. This means that if the report contains 1,000 classes and you only want to clean up 100 of these classes, you will need to remove the 900 classes and leave on the remaining desired 100 classes to be cleaned up. Once you've made these changes, save the file ensuring the file name remains as sectionusage.csv. Next, go back to the People panel on SDS and select Memberships. Then select Group Cleanup. When you press Group Cleanup, a flyout pane will appear. Click on Select Group Report, then locate your sectionusage.csv file you saved previously. Keep in mind, it will need to have the file name sectionusage.csv or it won't be accepted. Now, choose Upload Report. You will now select the cleanup options. These options are Mark Classes as Expired and Archive Group. Marking the classes as expired will change the sys ID and name of the class by appending EXP month and year in front of them. This way, you can reuse the same sys ID for the next semester or school year as entirely new classes. Archiving the group will make them read only, so no new conversations or data can be shared. It will also send the class to a specific archived classes folder in Teams so that they do not confuse the user with their current classes. This concludes the cleanup process. If for any reason after archiving the classes, you need to make a class active again, you can complete this through the Teams Admin Center. 
Once you navigate to the Teams Admin Center, you navigate to Teams and then Manage Teams. Once in Manage Teams, you can select as many of the archived teams as necessary and then press Unarchive. We hope you found this video helpful. Should you have any additional questions or need assistance with the SDS group cleanup function, please visit aka.ms forward slash SDS support.